Hi everyone, we're in the Train Masters TV studio with Alan Houts from Iwata, and we're going to show you today how to use an airbrush to do patch outs and repaints on a car, represented anyway. Uh, we have some examples here that were done by the good folks at the weathering shop and you can see how on some of the cars they've got dark spaces where the reporting marks are and yet the rest of the car is weathered. That's the sort of effect we're trying to achieve. It basically shows the passage of time because periodically uh, railroads would have to repaint the reporting marks but of course they wouldn't wash the whole car. They'd just literally mask around it and spray out and put new stuff in. We're going to do sort of the opposite, aren't we? We're going to paint yeah. everything but the originals. We're going to paint everything but the originals. And it's, you know, sometimes also capacities change, laws change, so they had to put in new, new load data. Right. So this is a way to add that to your layout. Now we've got a car here that you've prepared uh, by masking over some of the reporting marks just using Tamiya tape and uh, between, the, uh, between the ribs, as we can see. And uh, so what do we do next? Well, I've, I've, uh, this is the way data here and, and, and the dates in service and whatnot. And this one has a barcode reader on it. So I've covered those. And this could either be a repatch or it could just be a car that got really dirty and they wiped that stuff off so everybody can see what it was. It's okay. kind of a little bit of artistic license. It's Cole Hopper. So we're going to start with black right away. Okay. And you're going to turn okay. on the little Neo Air compressor. So that's what the buzzing noise is in the background. Can't shoot without uh, having the air. And this is something that a uh, an airbrush is really good at because it will uh, uh, you can put on that light weathering around that masking and not have it bleed underneath and not have obvious brush marks or something to to try and represent it. That it's, it's kind of a where do I want to stop sort of thing, you know? Right. And every this car. is a coal hopper, so it's going to be pretty dirty. So the idea here by putting the masking on is that we're protecting the original finish so when we peel that off that's going to look like brand new paint. Mm -hmm. And this is this is what I call for myself my layout layout quality, you know. Sure. Uh, your basic we're not going to put hours and hours worth of time yeah. in this. We're just going to get a quick and dirty pun intended. Yeah. model on the road. Okay. So you're spraying a sort of a, a, a gray black yeah, right this, is, this is actually, this is our opaque black, and uh, since we'd have a lot of coal dust on a coal hopper, I'm hitting it pretty hard. Okay. This is something you don't want to do, these type of patch outs on every car in your fleet, but if you did, even if you did 5% or 10% of them, it would add some variety to the, uh, uh, to the rolling stock on your layout. Just cleaning out the brush a bit. Yeah, a little bit of tip dry. Okay. And tip dry is when the paint actually starts to dry on the tip of the airbrush as it sounds. And uh, the problem with that is that uh, you get that build up and when you for if you try to force it out with the airbrush, you'll get a big blob on your car. So when you start realizing that the, uh, that the paint is not coming out as easily, run some thinner through it, clean it out, and reload, right? That's right. Look at me, I've been paying attention. Now you're adding in a little bit of raw umber? A little bit of raw umber for some road dirt. Okay. So you're putting this primarily along the bottom of the car? Mm-hmm, where it would be tossed up and on the sides. So you did the black sort of overall because the dust would be coming up and also mm -hmm. coming down from the load and coming down from when it was loaded at the mine. Now the airbrush you're using there is isn't a water brush. Tell me about that while we're The doing Eclipse, this. this is the HPBH, and it's a favorite of end scalers. Uh, you'll notice it's got this little tiny valve on the bottom here, and what I can do is if I need to get really, really tight in and do a really fine line, I'll say some dirt down the side, or if I wanted to do my ribs, right? Okay, I can cut the airflow and just go in there a little bit at a time. Nice. Let's do that. Where's my dust? And of course, I should mention that if you're doing this at home, you should be using a, uh, a paint booth and a respirator. We're spraying outside with a mask on. Uh, we're just spraying a very little bit of water-based paint here to show you how it's done. Uh, so, uh, but do use proper safety precautions. And paint booths aren't that expensive. And they last you a lifetime. This would be... I like to call them filler cars. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I guess if you've got long hopper trains, you tend not mm -hmm. to have just one or two. If you're doing BNSF, you're going to have a long hopper uh, train, so really it's about the experience of the train going past, isn't it? Yep. Uh, peop and people, that when they watch your train, because I belong to a club, so I've watched a lot of people watch trains, and they tend to, they see locomotives, yep. and they see mm, some freight cars, and, and then they'll see your caboose, or if it's passengers, they'll see your head ends and your ops cars and your locomotives, but their brain is gonna telescope the rest of them to the train. Right. And they don't really see the individual freight cars. So a little bit of dust, a little bit of... A little bit know. of road grime and yeah. you're good to go. And that's all you need. And that's all we're gonna do here. Okay. Okay. Uh, so okay. now we peel off the little masks and what we get is a nice, bright, clean paint underneath as though the car was actually masked and then repainted with the, re-stenciled with the uh, reporting marks and you protected the uh, uh, the label there that you're about to peel off so that it wouldn't get covered in paint. So we have a re-stencil re and they cleaned off our barcode reader very nicely. There. So that adds a nice little touch of uh, time to your model railway. Uh, Alan's been in the studio with us at Train Masters TV doing a number of videos on weathering techniques. Please check us out online for more videos. Thanks for showing us this. You bet.